Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. What messages do you have for the collective? Wow. <laughs> First card out, we have proposal. So right now, of course, it is the month of love, right? We are coming up on Valentine's Day and it doesn't matter when you're watching this. Whenever you're watching it is when you're meant to see it. So there is an overwhelming energy right now coming forward pertaining to love, pertaining to um, your person really trying to figure out what exactly they want, regardless if you're in communication or not in communication with this person. I get that there's a new beginning that's coming here. One with an unlimited potential. There's a fresh start. And this is something where I feel like you're going to be entering into a new phase, a new phase of um, commitment with your person. Your person is definitely in deep thought, whether this is an actual physical proposal, and this can be even a proposal of just taking things to the next level, having a higher level of commitment where you and this person are exclusively with one another. Or this could be this person coming to you and saying, hey, I've been doing a lot of thinking here and this is exactly what I want from you or this is what I need. Because I'm getting that with this person, they're having just a whole different thought process. I think that they're overwhelmed by the feelings that they're having. I think that usually with this person, they're always afraid and they run from it. But there's something here where this person doesn't want to run anymore. They're realizing that they mirror you. They realizing, they're realizing that they love you. And I feel like this person is tired of being away from you physically. And I think that they're processing their fears right now in order to kind of come forward and do the right thing. For a lot of you guys, this person is watching you. But I also get too, because I do feel like there are going to be some people that are getting engaged during this time period. This person has been looking at rings or jewelry or something. But I also get too, with the spine card, they're paying very, very close attention to you. Whether this is them driving by your house, whether this is them watching you, um... I get that this person is very, very curious with what you're doing. There's an energy with this spine card where they're very intrigued. They're intrigued by your daily habits. Um, for some of you guys, this is somebody who's watching your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever type of social media, Snapchat you may have. They're paying attention to who's liking it. They're, they're, they're watching it. I, I just get overwhelmingly, and if you take a look, they're watching things very, very closely. And the reason that they're really in this energy of watching is because they want to have a conversation with you. They want to get on the same page here and there's something that they need to open up about. There's something that needs to be communicated. So for those of you that are not in communication currently with your person, they're getting ready to say something to you. And there is going to be a conversation where... It's no longer, it, it, it feels like to me this conversation that's coming in, I hear that this person says, I have a lot that I need to explain. There's a lot that this person wants you to understand. And I feel like in the past, this person has closed you off from what they were thinking about, how they felt. And now it's like, I really do want to open up and talk about everything that I've been going through, everything that I've been thinking about. And this is a two-way street. So for a lot of you guys, you were always the one that was putting forth the energy and trying to get this person to open up, trying to get this person to be vocal. And now this person is ready to reach out. There's something coming in here too about their throat chakra being cleared. You may start hearing like bells ringing also. And the reason that this person wants to come forward and have this major conversation with you is because they've made a decision. There's some type of decision that this person has made. There may have even been some type of legal matter here that's been determined. But whatever it is, this person, they feel that this is a serious situation where they need to put forth a level of action and let you know that you're important to them. That they're ready to be loyal, that they're ready to be faithful. For some of you, this person wants to have children with you. 
<coughs> have a higher level of commitment. There's a lot of support coming in here, but I think that with this person, they had to take some time here, what is what I'm looking at, to really um, reevaluate what makes them happy, right? This person needed some time off. They, there's a reason that, that your relationship has come to a stall. And this is about this person having this level of self-actualization, um, right? Where in the past, they could have been in limbo between you and somebody else. Or this is even just them being in limbo with their wants and their needs. Or something that they felt like they wanted, for instance. If this is somebody who felt like, I want to be single my entire life. I don't want to be locked down. You know, marriage is off the table. I have no intention of this. It's like all of a sudden this person needed this level of silence in order for them to really understand exactly what makes them happy. What does this person want to have this conversation about? Can you show me please, Spirit? By the way, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it for some of you guys they want to talk about the deception the or 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 what it's either deception in what they've hidden from you because i do get that there's a secret but i feel like for a lot of you guys you already know the secret this is somebody who's coming back to you but they know that in order to come back to you you and them need to have a very tough conversation. And I feel like this person is watching you to see, are you dealing with anyone else? Are you talking to anybody else? I really do believe that divine is purposely showing this person memories of you. They're reminding, right? They're reminding you, remember this? Remember when you and this person did that? And they're having certain flashbacks and they're really reminiscing. And I feel like this person wants to return to you. And that's what they want to have this conversation about. Because I feel like this person is tired of watching. They're tired of waiting. And I get that they've already made up their mind and made up their decision with what exactly they want. And it's interesting because gift is coming in here. This person views you as a gift. And I feel like this person has been asking a lot of people about you, about your situation, right? Getting other people involved here with helping them understand this level of commitment, understand why you were put in their life. But I feel like for a lot of this, a, a lot of people, it's not people from their inner circle. Because I get that with this person, whoever they're associated with, those people are kind of jaded and jealous of your person. So this intervention to me is coming from a higher, um, a higher source, whether this is a therapist, whether this is an advisor, it's, it's not who they typically talk about with you. And this person is really trying to understand what is happening. Am I crazy? Am I crazy for wanting to propose to, to them? Am I crazy for wanting to marry them? Am I crazy for wanting to reach back out to them and really express everything? And whatever has been said here during this intervention or whatever has been communicated between your person and this higher energy, because I get that they're talking to a higher energy. It's not their friend. It's not Joe from, you know, walk and don't walk. This is somebody that they respect. This is somebody that they feel like has already been through something that they're going through. And they want this person's advice. And whatever this person has said to them, they're having this brand new perspective on what they see. And I think that's why this person is so fixated and focused on watching you because they're in a maze by everything that you have going on. Again, we have marriage. This is somebody who has a new perspective on commitment. For some of you guys, if your person is married or if they were married or in a higher level of um, commitment with somebody else, this person has always had, has always believed that marriage had a very like, um, 
it wasn't something that they necessarily wanted or it wasn't something that they necessarily believed in because of whoever they were associated with, whether this was their parents having a toxic marriage or, you know, relationships or a relationship that they were in when they were younger. They never really respected this higher level of commitment, but now they're having this brand new perspective, which is why they want to get on the same page as you. This is why they want to have this conversation. And I think that also too, they feel a sense of relief here for whatever new perspective they have on this committed type of energy. And the reality is, it's because they love you. They're remembering how much they love you, how much they miss you. And I think that with this person, the one thing that you've done is that the memories that you've made with one another, they're not negative memories. They're not negative associations. So when they think about you, they think about a time when they were happy. They think about a time where they were free, where they could just enjoy themselves, where they could enjoy you where they could enjoy the situation and they're recalling all the positive times that you've had with one another. They're looking back here and they're really having this different perspective. They're seeing a much deeper meaning here where they're acknowledging, they're recalling how much they do love you. These hidden emotions, how you nourish their soul and their true feelings are coming forward where you were always a support system to this person. And now their perception has changed where they're taking this deeper look, this deeper meaning, and they're, they're looking at the substance for what it is. They're having a higher level of consciousness. And at this time, at this very moment, things are changing. Anything can happen right now with you and this person because there's a sense of spiritual insight. This person is hopeful and they have faith. And for some reason right now, there's a level of power and strength where this person is really ready to express themselves in a way that they never have. And this is a situation that, in my opinion, is meant to happen because it's very high vibrational. There's a level of ascension coming. And it's a higher perspective on obtaining goals with one another, letting go of the idea of being with a partner, you lose a sense of independence. If you're with the right person, you gain independence because you can accomplish more together than you can apart when you're with the right person. And that's something that this person is beginning to realize that even though you guys are different, you guys are the same at the same point. And whatever differences you may have, however you look at the world and how this person looks at the world, when you come together, their positives and their negatives are, are different than yours, which is why you guys are a perfect match, which is why you guys are beautiful with one another. I get overwhelmingly with this person. There's some type of major offer coming in here. And I do feel like, I hate to say it, but I do feel like it is this person, right? Like, Let's take a look here. I mean, proposal, interview, offer on the table. This is somebody who wants to have this conversation. They want to make you some type of offer here with this proposal card. And this is really about getting on the same page. This is about a higher level of commitment. Why is this coming in so heavy right now? Look because this person is having clarity. What are they having all this clarity on? Why all of a sudden, you see the eye? It's almost like their third eye has opened. You've illuminated their third eye, even with this person, take a look, he's looking up directly to God. He's looking up. This is somebody who is not in a selfish place. This is somebody who's not acting from ego. This is somebody who knows what they're meant to do, that if they need help, it's okay to call upon a higher power. For some of you guys, this is somebody that has been praying, asking for confirmation, asking for answers on your uh, situation, asking um, God to understand what your significance is in their life. 
This is somebody who's been separating themselves from people, places, and things that are not healthy for them, that are not good for them. And they're having this new sense of clarity. I get whoever this energy is, they're leaving a lot of things in the past. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are upset with them. Whether it's their family, their mom, their sisters, whatever. Maybe even their, their older kids. This person is breaking free from certain situations that, that were holding them back for a period of time. And now they're having this, I just keep getting like, I can finally see. I see it now. That's what this person is saying. I see it now. I see what you were trying to show me the whole time. That this is a more significant relationship. That we are twin flames. That this person, they're not meant to settle for this toxicity. They're not meant to be in a life where they're unhappy, where they go day to day to day, the daily grind. This person is having a sense of clarity on your significance. On what you mean to them. On what a level of commitment could be between the two of you. But I get that you and this person had to be separated for a period of time in order for this person to truly understand. What is the significance of you in their life? With you, they have adventure. A level of sophistication. You go with the wind, right? There's something about you that isn't scared. You're not scared of what's to come. You're not worried about what this person has done in the past. The past is what it is. Sometimes I read the comments and the comments are kind of negative um, at, at times. And I understand, right? Because we get frustrated. But the reality is you can't change the past. You only can you only can live in the now. When you're focused on the past, that's depression. When you're focused on the future, that's anxiety. When you live in the now, that's when you're perfectly balanced. This person is always worried about the future. What happens if I take this leap of faith, if I go out of my way, if I do this, if I risk it all for this person, what happens if it crumbles? What happens if things don't, don't pan out the way that they're meant to? But now this person is in this energy where they're having clarity of, if I don't take this leap of faith, if I don't take this risk that divine is guiding me to, that God is showing me, that God is illuminating, I'm going to miss out on my happiness. I'm going to miss out on what I'm meant to have, what's meant for me. This person understands the significance of this spiritual union. You and this person have a soul contract with one another that you're meant to fulfill. This is an energy where they want to reconcile with you. They want to hold you. They miss you. They miss your touch. This person feels guilty for even putting you in um, any situations where you felt less than because the reality is what they're realizing is that that's how they felt about themselves. That was a level of projection. And because you, you love yourself. So you've always projected that love to them. This person is having this major awakening. Their third eye is opening. They're having this level of spiritual, this spiritual release, man. They're realizing all these cards. Look at all these cards that fell out. I'm going to put them all back because it's too much. But they're realizing that you're their soulmate. You're their twin flame. They're meant to have you in their life and you're meant to be theirs. This person is on the verge of really opening up and communicating with you a couple of things. There's things... The thing that keeps coming on here is interview, right? New perspect, uh, perspective. They're about to reveal or confess something about this offer that's on the table. This is somebody who's been trying to communicate with you telepathically. They realize how much they do love you. And I also get too, there's a lot of attraction here. But for some of you, you may have had to ghost them or cut them off or whatever it is in order for this person to learn their lesson. 
and they may have done that to you but either way they're learning the lesson of why this had to happen they're having a sense of clarity as why this was significant why this was needed and now even though there was a lack of communication there's communication that's coming in so if you and this person are not communicating get ready because there is communication that is coming in between the two of you guys what messages do you have for them can you show me please this person is watching you a lot i get nine of pentacles they've been focused on their finances focused on their money and i also get two with the six of cups here that scorpio energy um there's a major transformation right scorpio is associated with with um sex death and transformation but there's also a sense of harmony to this relationship to the past this person views you as their best friend they want they're thinking about the memories that you've made with one another where it's a very nostalgic time for them they want a second chance at love and reigniting the past because i get you know they're ready to take this leap of faith they're no longer in their head they're no longer thinking they're no longer worried about this energy right this four of pentacles they're no longer worried and, and having a sense of restriction capricorn energy is a level of restriction right this can even be jail it can be court it could be a lot of things right but to me this person is in a completely different mindset they're no longer crying over spilled milk they're looking to the future. They're saying, if I'm going to take this leap of faith regardless, because if I don't take this leap of faith, I'm going to be stuck in this five of cups, depressed, sad, wondering what this could have been, this breakup, having all this regret, this betrayal. And the reality is the betrayal may not even be betraying you. It could be betraying themselves and not taking that leap of faith. Pisces Aquarius energy. This is somebody who's ready to take a risk, who's ready to take a leap of faith, who is finally free of, of, of this controlled level of thinking. The Five of Cups to me, that's somebody who is unhappy but did the wrong thing. You kept making them an offer and they ignored it. They ignored you. They, they pushed you to the side for whatever the reasoning is. They were more focused on everything else around them except what you were offering them. So now when you withdrew your energy, it's like this person is realizing how lonely they are without you. That's what's giving them this clarity. That's what's giving them this sense of understanding as to why this isn't happening. This person wants to reach out. They want to communicate with you. They want to give you something. There's something here where I feel like it is an exchange, whether it's an exchange of gifts, whether it's an exchange of text messages, there's something here where this person finally gets it. And I feel like with this moon in Taurus, this is somebody who's not easily, um, they have a hard time opening up, especially when it comes to their emotions. They move very slowly. They had to open up on their own energy. You couldn't force them to do it. But this person is ready to reach out. I feel like there's some type of gift here that they have for you there's something that this person they're ready to take this leap of faith right with this ace of wands this is passion they're like i'm ready to go on this new adventure that's very successful very sexual but this person feels you're very you're very attractive and you're also an inspiration to them with any time you guys have aces aces is all about raw untapped energy it's what we decide to do with this energy so with the six of cups and the fool this kind of trifecta here this person they're doing whatever their heart is determining whatever they need to do to make this right between the two of you to create this justice to make this decision see this person is in the five of cups four of pentacles right now or in the past because they were in limbo they were restricting themselves with what they knew from their past, which was stopping them from being free. But see, them being stuck in the past, that was only them keeping themselves stuck. 
that was a level of their own mental prison. They put themselves there. What you've done for this person, honestly, is you've illuminated to them, you are free. You have the ability to make whatever decision you want. You have the ability to, to be whatever you want, but it's all a mental thing. And it's not something you can overthink. It's something you feel. And this person is realizing that you make them happy. You take them out of the darkness. This person is suffering significantly internally because of the painful ending that you and them went through. But again, with the Hierophant here, the Hierophant and Justice, this is marriage. This is a higher level of commitment. You have the Queen of Pentacles and you have the Star card here with the Four of Wands. This person in the Nine of Cups and the Star card, the stars of wish, the Nine of Cups is fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. There's a celebration. There's stability. There's partnership. This is 1111. The Four of Wands to me is always 1111, which is the gates of heaven. Aries energy, Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn. And it doesn't really matter the signs, but this is the energy because we all have multiple signs in our chart. But this is an energy where this person is finally recognizing your worth. And part of that reason is because you had to acknowledge it yourself, but then also you saying, I am worth this. I do deserve a higher level of commitment, whether it's with them or with anyone else. It's you opening yourself up. It's you allowing this person to know I'm going to be happy because that's what I deserve. And I believe God's heard your prayers. I believe that there are certain things you've made your wish on 1111. You've become very hopeful. You've done the healing. The star card is all about a level of healing. Right? The star comes after the tower. The tower is a traumatic moment. But the beautiful thing about this star energy with the four of wands is that your wish, whatever you were thinking, whatever you were manifesting, it's all coming into fruition here, especially with the four of wands. Their stability, your four of pentacles is changing to the four of wands. It's changing into I can't versus I can, I am. Here's why it can't work. Here's why it will work. You're going from a lack of to a level of surplus here. Celebration, happiness, congratulations is in, is in order here. There's a lot of prosperity that's coming with inside of this relationship because this is a blessed relationship. Justice and the Hierophant and the Star card. This is a relationship that is a divine counterpart. But sometimes divine timing has to be at play here. And I get that with this person. That's what was blocking it, right? It was divine timing. It was also too with this Leo energy, Mars and Leo. This person... I feel like needed to set boundaries with those people around them. For some of you guys, whoever your person is, they have a lot of people that take from them. So they needed to learn how to set boundaries with those other people that were around them. They needed to learn what it was to fight for their heart, right? Leo's all about the heart. Taking action, Mars is taking action, taking action from a heart space. Realizing that they can love themselves enough that your intentions are pure and that your emotions are real and that their feelings are growing for you. I don't think that they've ever loved anybody the way that they've loved you. Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who, again, between you and them, there's a lot of abundance that's coming, whether you and them are creating a business together, whether you and them are manifesting together, whatever it may be, it could just be the energy of the two of you guys coming together 
which is ultimately going to catapult your financial situation as well as theirs. There's something here where I get that it's almost like you're about to receive a level of abundance that's going to be out of this world. And again, we have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new start that's coming in here that's been waiting to take place. But I also feel like before you could have this brand new start, there was a lot of transformation that needed to happen, almost like a Phoenix rising type of situation where your person had to acknowledge that you're that that they're worth it, that they do deserve love, that they do deserve happiness, that this is something that they can have. It's not something that's only written in the movies or or song lyrics lyrics made of love but that you really can fall in love with your best friend and have an amazing life that is a possibility that is a potential here and i'm getting that with this person they're beginning to see that but you know what there's another side of this the other aspect to this is you also had to understand that you deserve love you deserve happiness you deserve a higher level of commitment. And the beautiful thing about this sun energy is it's having the confidence to know this person is coming back. It's having the confidence to know that you are going to be successful in love and in life because your energy is vibrating at such a high level. You are meant to lead this person to show them. To show them the truth. Not the truth about you, but the truth about themselves. You were meant to help inspire this person. Because the thing is, is that sometimes when we look in the mirror, we see something different than what other people see. But see, you saw the beauty in this person. You saw how amazing they were. This person became an inspiration to you, unbeknownst to you, more than likely. And now what you're doing is you're painting the picture of how you've always viewed them. And you're saying, look, this is you. I believe in you. I think you're amazing. I think the sky's the limit. Whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. And I'm getting that with this energy, you've shown this person their true self. You've shown this person that they are abundance. You've had to have this level of communication. But guess what? This Six of Swords, it's not only about you communicating to them, but it's also about this person picking up the phone and having a conversation with you that may be uncomfortable at first. But it is communication in order for the two of you guys to have this forward movement, to have this progression so that you guys can move on from the past and that you guys can have this abundance. The Empress is a level of abundance. For some of you guys, this pertains to family. But on top of these aces here, this is about a birth of a brand new situation, of stability. You're creating with this person. This is a very divine energy that's coming in here. And I feel like what's coming across the most here with this person is that commitment and stability are at the forefront. And you have your twin flame card. Here's what I, I, I feel very strongly because this is what they're communicating to me. But the moment that you and this person truly come together as one, you're never going to have a sense of stability the way that you have with them this time. There's going to be emotional stability. There's going to be financial stability. This is an energy where it's a level of judgment. You're going to realize how much you and this person were really meant for each other. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Star Card, the Sun, the Fool. All of the things that once were issues. All of the things that this person tried to push you back from. All of that is coming, it's coming back around. Because this is a situation 
that was meant to happen. This is a situation that you both manifested. This is a divine counterpart. This is a divine situation where the two of you guys are meant to be with one another. This is a time of union between, between you and your person. And I get that with you and them with these next couple of months that's coming in, this eight of wands, things are going to be moving very, very quickly. Expect a level of communication from this person also. This communication is coming in um, between, and it's going to be very quick, either on social media, text message, whatever it may be. It's fast moving and it is going to be very positive. And it's something that I feel like you've been waiting for for a period of time. And it's pertaining to a level of expansion. This is something where, you know, um, you're going to be receiving a lot of opportunities. For some of you guys, this is about you relocating. This is about this person moving you and then maybe moving in with one another. For some of you guys with the Fool and the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands, let's go ahead and take a look at the extended information. Let's see um, things from a 3D perspective really, really quick. But this is beautiful energy especially coming into the week. All right. How does this person view their current romantic connection with the collective? Okay. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles to me is like somebody that's trying to come up with an opportunity, right? This is a solid message. This is somebody that's planning something, right? They're planning it out. They may not have everything laid out to the extent that they want to but the page of pentacles is one step closer to the ten of pentacles right the ten of pentacles is something that's actually happened the page of pentacles is like somebody making dinner arrangements somebody pick up picking up the phone to figure out or figuring out what they're going to text you how they're going to um speak to you because they've already made a decision here to reach out to you and make it right how does this person view themselves in the connection with the collective this is somebody who's always, yep, here we go, the nine of wands. So you and this person may have a level of distance between one another, but this is somebody that's waiting. This is also somebody that's very tired and I get that they're exhausted. They're, they've had a lot going on. And believe it or not, I feel like with everything going on with this person, whatever they've been going through without you or that you don't know about, that they've not exactly vocalized or communicated, this person, they may have been drinking a little bit too much. I don't know. But I feel like this pause that this person is having with the Nine of Wands, it's necessary. Because what it's doing is it's allowing this person to know and recognize your level of significance in their life. How, does, um, how do they view the collective right now? How do they view the collective right now? They miss you. Page of Cups, there's a surprise coming. They know that you're waiting for them. Wow. Okay. The Four of Wands. So, again, 1111, a divine counterpart. But I also get, too, that they're viewing you as their partner. They're viewing you as the person that they want to be with. What's stopping this person from truly committing? What's stopping? What does is, what is the collective need to know about the Eight of Cups. There's something that this person had to walk away from that was no longer serving them. And sometimes, you know, the level of elevation or the level of growth, right? Sometimes something will serve us, like what served us 10 years ago when we were 21 or whatever it may be, in our 20s or in our 30s or in our 40s, that may not serve us now, right? So what this person is realizing is they've outgrown a situation and they're with they're withdrawing from something in order to be with you. There's something that they have to let go of. What is this person thinking about a lot when it comes to this collective? Five of Pentacles, they miss you. They miss talking to you. They feel left out. This person is in a sense of despair, I get, because there's so much that they want to tell you there's so much that they want to say, that they want to communicate. What is this person? What is this person's next actions towards the collective? The three of pentacles. I like this energy. Let me tell you why really quick. 
Three of Pentacles is Mars and Capricorn. This is an energy where they're very, very determined on working on something. So here they have a solid plan. And here they're actually putting forth the effort to work on whatever they want to. There, so there's something here that they have coming for you. They're determined to succeed. This is also about dedication. And for me, there's some type of gift here that you're not expecting. Show me. What, what is their intentions with the collective? The Fool. We keep seeing this Fool card. Look, the Fool, Injustice, and the Emperor. This person is ready to take a major leap of faith. This is somebody who has been very, very structured their entire life. This is somebody who has withhold, withheld themselves from making any type of um, moves that would put them in, in a situation where they weren't in control. This is an emperor that's saying, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do what I feel like is right. And believe it or not, the only person that this emperor listens to is the fool. You wanna know why? Because the fool is the only person that doesn't have a dog in the race, right? The, the, the fool is one that doesn't care what the outcome is. They don't have an ulterior motive. That's why the emperor is now listening to the fool because there's something that this fool has said to them where they're starting to see things different. And now this emperor is ready to take action and make something right. I just keep hearing I'm ready to be free. And what can they what, what what can they expect over these next couple of days? What what can the collective expect over the next couple of days with their person? There's something here where I feel like whoa, seven of pentacles. Okay, two of swords in reverse, and you also have the seven of pentacles. There's something you're waiting for. You know, it's almost like you're waiting for the shoe to drop, I feel like. It may be a little bit more wait until something is 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 put right. Like, I feel like this is an energy of waiting. I don't know why, but I do. Now, um, I'm going to clarify each one of these in the extended. The extended is available on Vimeo. Um, the link for that will be in the description uh, or in the description and also in the comment section below. But we clarify each one of these and then we also pull Oracle messages. So it's really a good deep dive into your person's psyche if this reading resonated. Um, if this is where we end and you've gotten everything that you need, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you. And for those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, Let's roll, and until next time, I wish you guys nothing but love, light, and so much success. Peace.